Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the host process for setting synchronization, so setting synchhost.exe, is experiencing high CPU or disk usage on your computer. So basically, this is a process that synchronizes all of your system settings among devices. So this can be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and hopefully, we're going to be able to address without too much of an issue. So we're going to actually hopefully resolve it by adding an ownership to the registry key. So sometimes it will actually try and write to a directory but does not have the permission to do so. So just while it keeps trying to rewrite it over and over again, you experience high disk usage and that could be part of the problem you're experiencing. So we're going to jump into it and we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Just left click on the start button one time. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match should come back, go regedit right above run command. You want to right click on it and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. So now that we are in the registry editor here, you want to expand the H key current user folder, either double clicking on it or left clicking on the little arrow next to it will expand. Once you've done that, you want to go and do the same thing for software and then Microsoft. So expand that one as well. And I'm going to just make this a little wider here so we can see where we're going. Now you want to go down to get to input personalization method and you want to expand that. Expand trained data store and then en slash gb so English doesn't really matter and there should be a two folder in here so number two. Now you want to right click on this two folder here and then left click on permissions. You want to go and left click on the system button right here and you want to go all by all the groups here and you want to make sure that full control is allowed so allow and then do the same thing for system and then any other accounts as well and then left click on apply and OK once you've saved the change. So I do have that worked for you guys. Now before you begin if for some reason you wanted to make a back with your registry you're more than welcome to. So all you would do if you're unaware just go up to the file tab at the top left click on export and then you just would export it somewhere on your desktop or somewhere, name it whatever you want, and then just to import the registry key, just do import instead, export input, just so if you ever made a mistake and want to go back, you're welcome to just undo the permission change I made, it really shouldn't affect anything, just wanted to throw that out there, really not too concerned about it, but I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out, and as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.